it is the uh, the moments or uh, the time of documentaries right now. Is uh, on Wednesday night a uh, a documentary will uh, will launch on the uh, on the SEC network uh, that is uh, that is going to re uh, re relive the uh, the 2019 LSU's national championship run. It'll be called One for the Ages. It's the uh, it's going to be a one hour documentary. Uh, set to premiere this Wednesday night on the SEC Network. I got the DVR set for it, so I'm looking forward to it. I don't know how much I'll learn, just because. Um, and 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 whether you're a fan or a media member, uh, everybody was was two feet into the deep end uh, on this team all season long and couldn't get enough information and news um, and any types of stories. So I don't know what we'll learn on this documentary. Um, I I hope to see some types of just like we we want and, and what we we we. Uh, yearn for in the in the docu series with the Bulls is behind the scenes uh, footage. Get a little sausage, just just see a little sausage making. It, it's not going to be anything like salacious. Um, I I I well I, I was going to say you know well I'm sure they didn't have a camera crew following them around 24 seven like this Bulls team did, but nowadays they kind of that's part of their success is they kind of do have cameras following them around 24 seven. But yeah, I'm 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 with a lot of the people like like uh, anonymous user in the huddle says give me clips of Jamar versus Stingley at practice. That'd be great. Uh, Chris Landry on Twitter. I want to see behind the scenes leadership during hard times of practice in the locker room from guys like Burrow, Lawrence, Queen. Um, yeah, just 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 the peaks that you don't get the 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 practice uh, trash talk, and, and then I'll take anything on Burrow uh, because as public facing as he was last year. He does remain a bit of a enigma in terms of like what we've actually his his image is so professionally and I mean this in a positive complimentary way it is so professionally controlled and 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 he's he's kind of what gets out there is what he has wanted to get out there. Yeah, I'd like to see the early parts of the season when oh, this yeah. thing was coming together when you were starting to get the feeling because I still think that there you know I mean that there was very much for as confident as everyone was around this team in going back to last summer, whether it was Ogeron, we had Joe Brady on here, Dave Aranda was talking about the offense was going to be different. Uh, Joe Burrow was, was, was very high on what they were going to look like and how different it was going to be. You still had to go out there and do it. I mean, you still had to go out there and, and see if it was going to work and that it could be executed at that level. So I'd like to see some, like, halftime at Texas yeah. type stuff where you're still, like, it, it looks good. It it feels good. It let let's continue to go out there. That big touchdown at halftime. I mean the. I mean halftime at Bama, right? Post game at Bama, like yeah, the trip back from stuff. Bama. Pre game. The uh, what what it was like being on the bus. Why well, and this is super specific. I don't know if we'll get this, but like what it was like being on the bus after you've landed in Baton Rouge. Yeah. And you yeah. just see hundreds of people lining the fence, uh, like celebrating what what you just did. Yeah, I mean all that, man. I, I look forward to to seeing some of the. The, the the behind the scenes stuff. I mean the the Stingley Chase uh, matchups is, I'm telling you that that that's as good as it gets from an individual standpoint that LSU has to offer. I mean you could really charge admission to that stuff in watching those two guys go at each other. So um, any time like those Saturday workouts that Burrow was if, putting together, if they would have footage of that, that would be great. That'd for be sure. fantastic. Um, so the uh, the the documentary is going to air on Wednesday night on the SEC Network. Uh, it's called One for the Ages. It's a look behind the LSU championship run. It'll be culminated with a replay of LSU's win over Clemson in the college football playoff national championship. Um, so LSU will dominate the SEC network airwaves coming up on Wednesday night, but it will have an hour dedicated to a documentary called One for the Ages uh, on the network. Speaking of Jamar Chase, uh, as we go to break here, if anybody wants a little uh, hope for next year, this comes from a PFF college tweet from yesterday. Only one player in college football earned a 95 grade versus single coverage in 2019, and that was Jamar Chase. Hmm. And that was going against some of the top cornerbacks in the entire nation. So if you couldn't stop him last year, good luck stopping him this year.